Welcome back to Room 18's Google Classroom. I'm so glad that you could join us today. Today we're going to be reading a story about zoo animals and where they go when they go to sleep. Has anybody thought about that? So let's get started with our presentation. Click there for you so that you can see our presentation. It's time to read a book, come with me. It's time to read a book, come and see. It's time to read a book. It's time to read a book. It's time to read a book, come with me. Before we read our book, let's go over our class rules to make sure everybody is being a good listener. Good listener. You're going to show me five, which means your eyes are watching, your ears are listening, your mouths are quiet, your hands are in your lap, and you're going to keep your teacher happy. Put those thinking caps on to be ready to answer the question when your time comes. All right, so let's stand up. Before we do any lesson, we always kick it off with a song. And if you're wondering why we do that, it's because it's important to get our wiggles out, to get our heart pumping, so that we can pay attention. Ellie kids! Click, click. Sleepy Time with the Zoo Animals. And the title of our book is Sleepy Time with for Zoo Animals. The author is Caroline Arnold, and the photographer is not an illustrator, he took pictures. It's Richard Hewitt. Let's make that a big screen. 
And let's read. When you are tired, what do you do? <clears throat> you take a nap. Zoo animals need to rest too. It's an orangutan. A young koala sleeps on its mother's back. An alligator floats in the water. A hippopotamus naps in the sun. A sleepy lion opens wide. A cheetah lies in a soft clump of grass. A rhinoceros rests in the shade. A fox curls up for a snooze. Floor flamingos tuck their heads under their wings. Some of them even also stand on one foot. You can see right here back in the back, this flamingo and this flamingo has tucked their leg up underneath of them. When they go to sleep, they like to sleep on one leg. And a young giraffe folds its long legs. Two tigers stretch out by a log. A young zebra lies still. An ebex rests its head on its hooves. And I don't recognize that word. Let's see. Ibex. It ibex. It's any of several wild goats li living chiefly in high mountain areas of the old world and having large horns that curve backwards. That's a new animal that we learned about today. Zoo animals can sleep almost anywhere. Can you? There's the lion. Let's finish our book. See how many points we have. We read for six minutes for 164 points. Good job, boys and girls. Let's go back to our presentation. See what questions we have to answer. So moms and dads, you guys can write these down, but it actually might be easier if you take a video of your child um, recording the answers. So that way we can actually see you guys interacting and see their answers. Um, you can use the um, Get Epic Books to read the book. And as you get to the page, you can use these questions to prompt their answers, or you can read the whole book and answer the questions at the end. So what do you do when you are tired? Ms. Trisha likes to take a nap. Do you? Where does the young koala sleep? Where did he sleep? He was on his mom's back. Where does the alligator sleep? Does the alligator sleep in the trees? No, that would be silly. The alligator sleeps in the water. But where does the hippo like to sleep? in the sun and the rhino likes to sleep in the shade and where do the flamingos tuck their heads when they go to sleep in their in their feathers in their wings and how does the giraffe go to sleep he tucks his legs he bends his legs and he sits down so today's assignment for google classroom is a fun one we can use blocks or household items like cereal boxes, toilet paper tubes, empty cans, shoe boxes, old string, etc. And I want you to build a zoo, create the habitats for the different animals. So for the polar bear, you're going to need to have some ice and some maybe like a pond. So you might take a, a blue piece of paper and crumple it up to make like a, a some water and get some ice cubes or, or pretend ice cubes to make some ice but for the giraffe you're going to need tall trees to make so you might draw a picture or use um, a paper towel roll and some green paper to make the trees and the lions like the shade or tall grass monkeys you're going to need a lot of trees for them to swing on so those are fun things to do today and either take a video of yourself. Patricia loves to see the videos that you guys have been sending and posting on Google Classroom. And I want to thank all the parents that are getting into Google Classroom and posting and 
and all the parents that if you're not able to get into Google Classroom, you can um, still share with us on, share the video and the pictures with us on Class Dojo. So it is time for letter time. And today's letter is letter K. And I gotta pull this up really quickly. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot about letter K today. ABCMouse.com is so fun. There's a ton of things. A is a consonant, and it has. Let's learn about the letter K. K is a letter. K is a letter. K is a letter. K is a letter in the alphabet. This is an uppercase K. Write it in the air like this. This is an uppercase K. Write it in the air like this. This is a lowercase K. Write it in the air like this. This is a lowercase K. Write it in the air like this. Consonant and it has a sound. Letter K hey. is a consonant huh. and it has huh. a sound. Huh. I say the K sound. Huh. You use the back of your throat. Huh. Now you say the K sound. <laughs> At the beginning of these words, listen for the K sound. A little kitten. 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 With your friend, the koala. 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 And her friend, the kangaroo. 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 Together flew their kites. Uh, kites. 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 At the end of these words, listen for the K sound. A big strong yak. These have the yak. K sounds at the end. Yeah. Carries things on her back. 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 Like a heavy pack. 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 Then she rests for a break. 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 It's fun to learn about the alphabet. And I'm really going to try and do my best. Learn each letter. Learn each sound. Learn how to write each letter down. I feel so good. Deep inside, I'm proud. I'm learning to read and write. Get ready. Get Good job, friends. Get ready, get set. It's time for writing time. You are a writer, so make sure you write your name at the top. You're going to write the letter K, and you can also write words that start with the letter K, like, oops, i to get my top off, like kangaroo or kite or kiwi or king or kitten or koala or you can think of your own words that start with the letter k we have a friend in our classroom whose name starts with k cadence starts with k Cadence starts with K. All right, friends, story is finished. Duo, duo, story is finished. Duo, duo. Many thanks to all the parents who are getting these 
Job's done and great job to my students. You guys are doing an awesome job. And I'm so proud of you guys sticking with everything and getting the job done. So just check back um, later at 1230 for our last lesson of the week, which is math. Adios.